In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a function that will print all prime numbers between any given interval. And for those of you that don't know what a prime number is, basically what it is is it's any number greater than 1 that only has two factors, 1 in itself. So for example, 5 is a prime number because the only two numbers you can multiply together to get 5 is 1 in itself. 7 is also a prime number because the only two numbers you can multiply to get 7 is 1 and 7. However, 10 would not be a prime number because although you can multiply 1 and 10 together to get 10, you can also, most also multiply 2 and 5 together to get 10. So before we even I even show you how to code this uh, program, what I'm going to do is actually show you what it does. So it says the beginning of the interval will say 1, and the end of the interval will say 1,000. So what this is going to do when I hit enter is it's going to print all prime numbers between 1 and 1,000. And as you can see, it has done just that. So in the next section of this tutorial, I am going to show you how to code this out. So for this section of the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is to get input from the user to see the uh, range of the interval that they want. So we need to get the upper and lower bounds of the interval. We're going to say L for the lower bounds, and we're going to set that equal to the input. And we're just going to say the beginning of the interval. And then we need to create a second variable called h, or u, for the upper bounds of the interval. We're going to set that equal to the input end of the interval. Okay, so by default, the, the input method returns strings to these variables right here. And we want to use these for our for loop. So what we need to do is we need to convert these strings into integers so we can use them in our for loop and we do this with the int method so now our strings are no longer strings but they are integers okay so from here what we need to do is we have our range what we need to do is we need to check every single number in that range to see if it's a prime number and what we can do is create a for loop to do just that so we can say for num in range of L to U plus 1. And the reason we do U plus 1 is because this range method is not inclusive. Meaning if L was 1 and U was 100, it would go from 1 to 99. It goes up to but not including this last number. And in order to get the entire range or the entire interval that the user has specified, we have to say U plus 1 to get there. Next, we can just say if num is greater than 1, and this only executes if the number is greater than 1. And the reason we do this is because all prime numbers are greater than 1. If it's less than 1, it is not a prime number, and there's no reason to check if it's a prime number. Next, we're going to have to create a second for loop. And this for loop is going to check each individual number in our interval to see if it's prime. And the way it's going to do that. Let me, uh, let's just type it out first. So we're going to say for i in range of 2 to num, we're going to say if num modulus i is equal to 0, what we're going to do is we're going to break. OK. So what this does is for every single number in our interval, we are going to perform a check to see if it's a prime number and the way we do this is if you remember the definition of a prime number is a number that only has two factors one in itself if you remember one times five is five there are no two other numbers to multiply to get five therefore five is a prime number what this, this what this does right here is it goes from two up to the number so say we had from 99 or from 1 or from 100 to 200 and we're in our first iteration of this for loop this would be uh, 100 and it would say for i in range of 2 to num so this part right here would check to see if every number between 2 and 100 was divisible by 100 and if it was we'd break out of this for loop and go to the next number in our interval because if it was divisible and we broke out that means it wasn't a prime number. So what we can do from here is create an else statement, a for else statement. This else is attached to our for loop. And what this does is 
if nothing in this for loop was met, if we didn't break out of our for loop, we go to this else condition. And what this else condition we're going to put in here is print num. Because if no number between 2 and that number was divisible by the number, the specific number we were on in our uh, interval, that means that it was a prime number and we're going to print it out. So what we do from here is we're actually done. So we can run this and we'll say run. We'll say the beginning of the interval will say 100. The end of the interval will say 1000. As you can see, it printed out every single number, every single prime number between 100 and 1000. So I hope that was beneficial to you and you learned something. Um, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.